Hey guys, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D walkthrough. This is part 2, and we will be entering our first dungeon inside the Deku Tree. Alright, so let's go. Okay, so on this main floor, there's only one type of enemy, and that's the Deku Baba, which we face many times. And by many times, I only mean once. Here are Deku Nuts. They stun your enemy and gives you a chance to attack. I don't use them that much, but I can see how they are useful. They're useful in this dungeon for the boss battle, which you will see later. All right, so climb up this first ladder. And you'll see this platform. If you want the heart, you'll have to jump off. And notice that the web is going to break. So if you want to break the web, you're gonna have to jump from a higher distance. Here is another type of enemy. Skull Waltula. Skull Waltula. Be careful not to touch it. What useful advice. I did not know that before. Okay, this item is the dungeon map. It will let you know what the other rooms are in the dungeon. You will also need a compass which will tell you where the treasure chests are. So defeat this Deku Scrub by using your shield and then L targeting it. All right. I'm gonna jump on this platform and it'll break. But then grab this treasure chest and you will get a very useful item. It is the fairy slingshot. It's powered by Deku seeds and you launch them and it can help defeat enemies and help get you to other places all right now how do you get back since the platform disappeared you're gonna have to shoot your furry slingshot easy way out use the L targeting but you can also manually aim it with your 3DS device or the control circular pad. Alright, so now that we got this item, we can try to defeat the skull wall tulas. There's three of them, so make sure you kill all of them. I 
Das ist ja und diese neuen. Alright. Here is a big Skotola. Its soft belly is its weak spot. So, splash its soft belly when it reveals it. Why it does is life's mystery. Alright, Deku Seeds. Power up your slingshot. It's basically ammo. It's another skull. Big Skulltula. It's another big Skulltula. And then we basically ended up in a circle. So you can go either left or right. Now, enter the door. And you'll see this torch. You're going to need a Deku stick to light it up. Now that only opens up the door. As for all the other things in the room, hit the button and jump on the platforms. If you don't have any Deku sticks, kill the Deku Baba for some. Here's the compass. Now I'll tell you what treasure chests there are in the room. Also, there's a treasure chest by the fairy slingshot, which you can use for a recovery heart. Although, it's not very useful for me right now since I have full health. Be careful of the big scorpola. Now hit the button again because there's another area you can access in the room, which is fairly important. Once you kill the big Skotola, open up and get a recovery heart. And now kill the golden Skotola. They're very important later on. You can see how much you have in the gear. Right now we have one. I believe there's around a hundred of them. Alright, so now that we were there, go over to this platform. If you want a recovery heart. And then jump and land through. Alright, so here we are in the Great Deco Tree. How do we kill this? Slingshot. Now, how do we get it? We jump. And this is number two. Now, if you step on the button, you can see that fire destroys webs. So, we get out our stick. Make sure you don't fall into the water. And bring the web. Alright, so now let's enter this door. Here you'll find once again a Deku scrub. Now I'll tell you how to punish his brothers. 231, 23 is number one. But the door doesn't open. What do you have to do? Shoot a slingshot. Alright, so now you'll learn how to dive. You basically just hold A. And you're gonna have to click the button underneath. You only have three seconds to dive. 
that will lower the water, which will allow you to pass through that log with spikes. Although it's timed, so you only have a certain amount of time to do it. But you do have plenty of time. hits kill it. Now you'll know how to move a boulder or stone. And just hold A and pull. As for climbing, just press A once when you're next to the stone and enter the door. You get a Deku stick. You get a Deku nut. Lay both torches on fire and open the door. Now, if you want to, you can shoot your slingshot. To kill this guy faster. Now look up at the ceiling. There's eggs. They're larvae of monsters. I recommend shooting the eggs before they hatch. They'll fall down once you come near them. Alright. Now. Light your torch. Burn the fire. But you can't access that because of the stone. So we'll have to light this. Now what I recommend doing is pushing this boulder down. It's a shortcut, so if you save and go back to your treehouse, then we'll come back here, no problem. Now you're gonna need fire to burn that hole. So light your stick. And attack with it. Now, here's where the code comes in handy. 23123 is number one. Two. Three. And then one. Now, for some reason, he gets so mad that he reveals his master's secret for some unknown reason. So next time, we'll take on the boss. Thanks for watching.